Hello everyone. Recently I posted a movie review about the pan Indian blockbuster RRR with reference to Ram's transformation towards the end of the movie. I was informed by some of the viewers that the character was inspired by Alluri Sita Ramaraju. I got curious about the personality and started reading about the freedom fighter. I came to know that in 1974 Alluri Sita Ramaraju a movie was released in Telugu with Krishna playing the titular role. In 1986 the government of India released postal stamps honoring Alluri Sita Ramaraju on the occasion of his 117th birthday in 2014 the AP state government celebrated it as a state festival In October 2017 it was agreed by the government of India to install his statue in the parliament building premises In April 2022 the AP state government carved out Alluri district from Visakhapatnam naming it after Alluri Sita Ramaraju. So many laurels to such a man, but who is Alluri Sita Ramaraju? The curiosity got me reading more about this freedom fighter and I wondered how little we know of our own heroes. So, who is Alluri Sita Ramaraju? Alluri Sita Ramaraju is a celebrated freedom fighter in Andhra Pradesh. He was a revolutionary who waged armed campaigns and guerrilla attacks against the British colonial rule in India. His involvement in the resistance against the British started with the response to the 1982 Madras Forest Act which restricted the free movement of tribal communities or adivasis in their forest habitats and prevented them from practicing their traditional form of agriculture. He led the Rampa revolution also known as the Manyam revolution which was a tribal uprising This revolution started in 1922 and lasted until his capture in 1924 He is known as Manyam Virudu which translates to forest hero or the hero of the jungle His modus operandi was gathering a force of adivasis farmers sympathizers and engaging in guerrilla attacks against the british in east godavari and visakhapatnam areas he led numerous raids on local police stations to acquire firearms for his forces his signature move was after each raid he would leave behind a letter informing the police about the details of his raids including the weaponry he took away and daring them to stop him if they can The police stations that he raided suffered major casualties. Therefore, the British undertook a two years long hunt for him and spent more than 40 lakh rupees, which is a huge sum at those times, to hunt him down. In 1924, he was caught. He was tied to a tree and was executed in public by firing bullets. He was laid to rest in the village of Krishnadevi Peta. He was born in a Telugu speaking family as Alluri Ramaraju. His father was a professional photographer and his mother a homemaker. His father was a free-spirited man and Ramaraju got a sense of self-respect and freedom from his father. His father openly despised the claim of superiority by the British, but he died when Ramaraju was only 8 years old. While growing, Ramaraju fell in love with the sister of a friend. Her name was Sita. After the untimely death of Sita, Ramaraju etched her memory in him by adding her name to his name and became Sita Ramaraju. Sita Ramaraju dropped out of college, but he had been a keen learner of languages, astrology, herbalism, palmistry and equestrianism. He shunned material life and became a sanyasi at the age of 18. He was drawn in by the plight of tribals and their sufferings and settled down near a highly dense tribal populated area in godavari district he despised the conversions by christian missionaries he started educating the tribes and training them for fights by taking very little from them when rebellion was the way to deal with oppression he became the natural choice as a leader he rejected government land offered to him and stood by the tribals Sita Ramaraju followed the non-cooperation strategy by uniting the tribals and Muttadars. Muttadars who were erstwhile rulers of hills and exploited the tribals were now on the same side as the tribes though not all of them. His fighters sported traditional weapons like spears and bows and arrows. They used preliminary techniques such as drum beats and whistles to communicate. Knowing that his weaponry is not a match to the firepower of the british he decided to raid the police stations in order to upgrade his weaponry his attacks were effective 
and resulted in severe casualties and loss for the British. And the British were clueless about how to tackle him because of their poor knowledge of the territory. Therefore, they deployed forces from Malabar Special Police and later on from Assam Rifles. And when none of these gave the desired results, the British resorted to extreme measures such as torturing people, burning homes and fields, etc. It took long, two long years for the British to finally capture Sita Ramaraju. On capturing Sita Ramaraju, the British executed him by firing at him after tying him up to a tree. A press release by the Press Information Bureau of the Government of India laments over the scarcity of research on the life and movement of Aluri Sita Ramaraju. The release also highlights an interesting anecdote from Sita Ramaraju's life. When a friend gave him a handful of badges with King George's picture to the 13-year-old Raju, he threw all of those badges except one. He pinned that one badge upon his shirt and said, To wear them is to flaunt our servitude, but I pinned it on my shirt near to my heart to remind all of you that a foreign ruler is crushing our lives. That summarizes the spirit and life of Sri Aluri Sita Ramaraju. There are many more such heroes who deserve attention and celebration. My apologies if I have gotten some of the pronunciations wrong. Thanks for watching. And if you like to suggest personalities or topics that I can research on, please leave it in the comment section and I will be happy to do my bit. If you like such videos, please subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.